Alright, so, um, well, fuck, alright, um, yeah, this is a, uh, video, a little update on my Daniel Defense Special Edition, 12-inch rail version, and I made a review on this gun, like, what, a month or, a month or something like that ago, and I made some changes, as you can see, uh, me and my friend made some changes to the gun, the first thing you will notice, of course, is the dusted camo, this is a custom camo made, uh, by Dave, and, he did this on his other weapon, and we're looking into maybe making it so we could um, dust you know, people's guns or make any camo they want. We could, we're probably doing that for people that you could send your gun in and we can camo it for, for an affordable price or something like that. That's just a, a future plan we're not too sure of. And um, I'm making the gun into a DMR, as you can see here. It's not finished, it's far from done. I have a lot of internal work to do and a good amount of external work to do as you can see here the crane stock is long which i'm going to get rid of i'm going to change that into a fixed stock the scope actually um, i'm getting another one soon it's going to be a way bigger scope and i'll get more because this is obviously it's all right it's just too small of a um a scope it's it's not it just looks too small for the, for the gun i'm going to get a way bigger one and i'm going to get a much bigger suppressor this is just a placeholder suppressor a lot of this stuff is placeholder stuff i'm going to get um a way bigger suppressor, maybe about out to like, you know, there or something. And I do attached, I did have, I do have attached a e bike, uh, one point sling right there, and a, a low cap mag, you know, to make it look more like a DMR. As you can see here, let's grab this thing out. It's kind of in an awkward position, and the mag is kind of stuck because it's uh, freshly painted, and the paint has, you know, wear in a little bit, and get a little bit close on As you can see, this camo looks really, really good. It looks like a nice worn out, dusted look, which is, I think is like an awesome, an awesome look for the gun. And I also have another dusted mag over here. This one right here, as you can see, this looks really well. I mean, really well done for a, um, there's the dusted camo. And I think it's awesome, like really awesome. And it was, I think it was, it was a perfect job doing the camo. I'll try to get some closer shots on it. But um, yeah, this is the gun so far it stands. And not much internal work has been done on yet, but once I do, I'll get you, uh, you know, updates on it and, you know, a lot of tests for it, accuracy tests, and just basic stuff. If you want me to break down the gun and take it apart, I could do the inside right now. I could just take it apart to show you what it looks like on the inside, but it's simple. You know, you just take your two pins, pull them out, pull this part out, it'll go up like that, and you can just take your inner barrel out and your, um, and your, uh, what do you call it, hop up and then get into the gear box from there and change all the stuff pretty simple. You know, easily, easy, you could easily just detach the rail, you know, take it off, unscrew it, attach another rail on. I'm not really thinking of attaching another rail because I think this rail, you know, that's the whole point of the gun, you know, for this special Danny Defense rail, which is pretty good. I, I'm thinking about keeping that. And, um, all I need really is a gas block for, uh, here because you can see it's... It's pretty wobbly, but it really doesn't affect the accuracy at all. It's, it's fine. And, you know, I'm looking to get a fixed stock, a bigger, bigger scope, a bigger suppressor. Of course, upgraded internals, and I'm also planning to make it so the gun only shoots on semi. So, you know, it makes more like a DMR, so it just goes safe and semi and only shoots like that. And, of course, an upgradable hop up. I'm doing that. I'm going to get a better hop up, a longer inner barrel. I'm probably going to get a, I'm um, not sure which length, but I'm going to get an inner barrel to, you know, go all the way to fit so i'll have to put a suppressor on it to hide the inner barrel but um yeah i'm definitely gonna bigger inner barrel for that and i'm probably gonna use this gun more for fields i mean you can't really use this gun on um or maybe you can i don't know i really i don't have the accuracy i don't know if you see but um pretty sure i'm not gonna use it for cqb once i upgrade i'll probably use a different gun i'll probably um purchase an mp7 or something for that but yeah, this is basically my little update review on the Daniel Defense Special Edition. As you can see here, it has the oh shit, sorry. it has the special um you know, the frog. See this frog, and on the other side has a skull. And if you pull the back, you have the beauty and honor, which I kept uh, not spray painted on the inside of there. And yeah, that's basically it. If you guys like this um this dust camo, I will be um oh actually. Guys, do remember, I have the gun here, the um, D-Boys CQBR, put 
that in the shot for a second as you can see here it also has the dusted camo um which is i love the dusted camo it's really dust uh, really awesome i don't said really dusted uh, the updates made to this gun was the stock as you can see in the back has been changed and the the um daniel fence rail has been dusted and a little adjustments to the scope and also um we're just making some small adjustments to this gun but this is a really good gun and you know if you guys enjoyed the uh the video and you enjoyed the camo uh we'll be doing more update videos on our guns and stuff like that and also we we're um we're planning to make like little just random videos here and there on just stuff in general so um if you enjoyed the video just uh yeah peace bitch